Hello and welcome to tutorial 20 in the Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 slash .NET tutorials and today we're going to learn how to create an advanced message box. Now this message box is going to first of all ask the user a question and then display an icon and a yes and no button and then it's going to do something depending on if the user clicks yes or no. So the first thing you need to do obviously is create a new project, just call it advanced message box okay and first of all I'm going to be teaching you how to create a message box with buttons and an icon so just change the text to question and we'll double click and then inside the code we'll have First of all, we have the message box that show, and then we'll have the whatever, whatever, and that'll be the usual message box that we went over. And now, t first of all, to have buttons, we'd simply type message box buttons dot yes no, and all this is saying is the message box buttons. Uh, yes and no, and you can change this to whatever you like. It actually says here there's a list. Abort, we try ignore. Okay, okay, cancel. We try cancel. Yes, no. Yes, no, cancel. So, but for now, we're going to stick with yes, no. Okay, so after that, you'll add another comma and message box icon. And again, here you can choose whatever you like: asterisk, error, exclamation, etc. But here we're going to have questions since we're asking a question. So let's debug this and hit the question button and there we are yes and no but it doesn't really matter if you click anything because we haven't actually asked it to do anything yet so what we're going to do is use the if statement and the if statement is going to say if the button yes is clicked then execute this code and if it isn't clicked which will be the no one then execute this code so to start it off we're going to have if before the message box dot show and then after it we're going to add equals oops equals windows dot forms dot dialog result dot yes then and then here's the code we're going to execute here. Which is going to say message box dot show you clicked yes. Okay, so all this is saying is, if the if the message box that we're sending, if Windows the forms that dialog result is yes, then it's going to execute this code. So let's just test that out. We'll click yes. You clicked yes. Okay, there we go. And then simply to make it say no, we'll just add else box that show you click no and you should know what, what our if, they, if statements worked we went over the if statements and yeah it, it said no there Look, we go if you don't know how if statements work you shouldn't really be watching this tutorial you should go back to the if statements tutorial and work from there so yeah that just about sums it all up that's how to create an advanced message box you can just play around with the buttons and the icon but if you have any questions then just leave a comment if you have any suggestions or if you even have a re have a request then leave a comment so please rate the video and subscribe for many more tutorials and uh, thanks for watching